time for another bouquet. That's what I'm doing. Neighbors cutting the yard and I'm cutting flowers. Our lawnmower is broken right now. And the part we ordered before it came in is the wrong part. So we have to go back to square one and wait for the new part. And then we can get our lawnmower running. And then we can always hit it with the tractor. Topper, you cannot go in there with me, okay? Because there's no back gate on here anymore, so you have to stay out. But I'll be right back, little fella. Or should I say big fella? You stay right there. We are going to be taking, tearing this uh, little chicken coop down soon. Whenever our backs get well. I'm just getting over a ruptured disc and Don just hurt his back this morning working on the lawnmower. So it's nothing but a weed of mess in here, but there's some beautiful flowers. But I gotta watch out for snakes. So I've seen a couple this year. They were black snakes, but you never know. So I gotta be careful. But let me cut some flowers. Oh, copper here so Marigolds. They make beautiful rings. Look at the yellows, they're so pretty. Oh my goodness, I just don't want them to go to waste. Not when they can go in a vase. <laughs> I have made at least six flower arrangements so far in the month of June. All from my own yard, except for the ones I brought home from work the kids gave me. Those flowers they gave me as uh, departing gifts lasted Gosh, they lasted for the whole month of June. They just kept going and going. I was so happy. That was They were so beautiful. This one's overdue to be cut over here. And my watermelon vine is all played out now. But I'm just going to leave it out here and let it grow. Let it go, whatever it's going to do. So I'm working on my, I think my fifth flower arrangement since the beginning of June. My flowers have been providing plenty of beautiful flowers. It's another scorcher here in Florida. But at least it rained yesterday. It rained good. And it's supposed to rain this afternoon too. So while I have a chance to get out here, get some flowers, work on another bouquet. I might even have to see if I get any roses to throw in here. These beautiful zinnias here cut and come again. You cut them and they just keep coming. And they are so pretty. These are the candy cane variety. Just. And these are Mexican sunflowers. And they make great cuttings, cut flowers in a vase. They work really well. This is a cardinal vine, hummingbird vine. Has several different names. I never put them in a uh, vase, but. If you look over here real close, you'll see something extraordinarily beautiful. It is a butterfly pea flower. And you can use those to make tea. You can eat the butterfly beans, or peas, should I say. But you can eat the flowers and make teas with them. It looks like I have my own palm tree growing out here. <laughs> it's kale. It's going to seed. Anyway, let me see if I can get out here. Hey, Copper. You coming to help me make a flower arrangement? Hmm? We're so glad that Penny just got to get out of the pen today. Her heat is finally over. So grateful. It was forever. Copper is so happy to have his soulmate back so he can play. Because that's what he likes to do, is play. I see one big, beautiful rose over here that I need to cut before it starts looking pretty bad. Beautiful and pink. Look at that. We bought these roses from Home Depot a few weeks ago. Haven't put them in the ground yet. Waiting on, waiting on what? I don't know, but I guess a spot to put them. That's the main thing. We will find a spot. Let me cut this one because it's going to start falling apart soon too. It's got a lot of thorns on here. Look at those. Lots of thorns. Beautiful. I know, I don't remember the names of these roses. To me, 
They're just roses. You know what? I don't think I'm going to cut it. It has too many thorns. But I could put some shrimp plants in my flower arrangement. Those make great accents. Put one of these in there. Cut it right here. And it joins together. And it'll push out more. That'll be perfect. They are doing really good. Look at them. So pretty. Like little shrimp. Make you want to eat shrimp. Hang on, couple. We're going to go in in a minute. Rosemary actually looks great in the flower and it also. Rosemary and oh my goodness, I missed my bloom. My cactus bloomed. I'm sure it was open last night and I missed it. But tonight, I hope I remember to get out here and get this one. Yeah. This almond bush, the flowers are all pretty much gone. It's just those little flower dead things and loads of flowers. And these are got four flowers on them. They're beautiful in arrangements too. And they last a long time. So anyway, that's what I'm doing today. Nothing major. It's too hot to do anything major. I cooked breakfast. Played with the dogs. And gathered some flowers. That's the highlight of my day. Y'all have a great one. Happy Sunday.